This week at MK Sports Cars, we have cars for sale from as low as 7995. We also have updates in the workshop on the S2000 build, the F20C engine. We also have the K20A2 engine going into the RX5. The Striker, we've got an update on the bodywork for you. You're not gonna wanna miss it, guys. Yeehaw, horsepower, baby. <laughs> We've got a couple of cars for sale, as you may or may not have seen. And uh, I'm sitting now in the 63 plate Striker. This is a supercharged Striker, 241 horsepower. Uh, quite a fast car. If you look up here, there'll be a link to uh, to the review that we did of this one. Um, this is up for sale, 11995. Nice little car, plenty of car for it. Ideal for the track, four speed, rocket box, supercharged, very fast. Um, Let's go and see what other cars we've got for sale. Right, next up guys, another Striker. This time with a Ford ZTEC engine, 170 horsepower, and it's more of the classic look. That's the aero look one. This is the classic look of the Striker. You can tell by this A-pillar, and it has the touring pack on there with the windscreen doors, wipers, and all the mod cons and bells and whistles that go with it. But the best point, 2008, and only, only, 7995 for 170 horsepower. That is bonkers cheap, and I'm surprised that is still it. Both of these cars set on kill and ready to go. Tomorrow, you could be on driving this car out here today and going wherever you like. In style! <laughs> Next up, one of the last ones we've got is a Indy RX5. Uh, this is a left-hand drive model. It is registered, road registered in the UK. It is a 2021 model. Um, we've got this, we can do a couple of options that we're going to discuss there. It's got the full GT pack on it. Um, it's got the standard seats, six in, uh, three inch harnesses. It's a, a 1.8 MX-5 limited slip differential. And this could be yours. You could be driving this one away at cut price 15,995. Yes, 15. 995. That's a brand new car. But as Neil said, as options are available on this thing, you can upgrade this to a turbocharged engine as well. And we're happy if you want to knock on our door and have a discussion about it, we will then bolt on a turbo kit as well. Negotiation on price, of course. But again, so if you want to start off with this, you can either turbocharge it straight away or we can look to roll it out the door later on. This is a left hand drive car, so we can do a conversion over to right-hand drive, pick up the phone, give us a call. We can make this a right-hand drive turbo car with a starting price, 15,995. Right, hi guys. Uh, striker update, really. Some bodywork, as you can see. We've had some first batches of the bodywork out of the mold. This is for, really, for the aero um, scuttle-based one. So we've got the bonnet, well, let's start at the front. Front splitter, two front wings, nose cone, We've got the aero bonnet and the aero scuttle and dashboard. That is a built-in one. That is built into one piece. Scuttle and dashboard is one. Um, that's out of the mould. And also, we do have the classic dashboard as well. Out of the moulds, first one. And the rear tub, uh, rear arches, doors. Um, all of that is out of the moulds now. We've fettled with the moulds a little bit, so they should be on the site pretty soon um, and available to purchase. And obviously, colours and various designs, etc., that go with it as well. So that's just the standard arches, not the extra wides at the moment, because we've been fettling with all the moulds to make them look half decent. So if you're looking at the striker bodywork, maybe we'll get that for you, or go hook us up on a phone call and email, and we can talk you through that. But it's good to see progress on that. Obviously, chassis updates you've seen, and that's still ongoing with the booster engineer as well, but at least the bodywork moulds we're sort of happy with now, and they can be rolling out for you. Another car we've got for sale. This is a rather, rather handsome donor car. Um, never been raced or rallied. This is uh, one owner for the last 16 years. This is an MX-5 Icon. And um, what's it got? What is an Icon? Best thing about this, the wood pack. Wood, ah, <laughs> the we've wood mentioned pack. this before. Six speed gearbox, 
1.8 engine only done about 80,000 miles. Isn't it? Neil said one owner for the last 16 years. And of course, there's nothing to see here. Um, they're, they're, it's, it's in perfectly good condition on the bodywork. No, we know it, guys. The bodywork's a but it's actually MOT compliant at the moment, right until. 2022. It's, a, it's a end of the year. End yeah. of the year. So you could actually drive away. We've done a road test on this car. We know it drives spot on. Engine is as sweet as a nut. And it's got all the best bits to build an RX-5. And that's the best the bit. luggage rack, yeah, which won't fit your RX-5. But it looks pretty cool on the Mazda. And that will make good use. You could use that in the bathroom at home to tie these towels. <laughs> <laughs> And the wood pack, I mean, yeah, you know, it's a nice little ornament for the garage as well and etc. Or you could make your desk out of the leather seats that are in there. Great little donor seat as well. But no, in all seriousness, guys, it's a great donor car because the engine, the drivetrain is spot on. The oil was as clean as it came out of the can the day it came out. It is a very, very good driving vehicle. So despite all its little, let's say, blemishes, it is spot on. There's nothing wrong with them wheels, they're perfect. Yeah, they can be reconditioned. It's got really good sports wheels. <laughs> sports that wheels, have, uh, yeah. That have, uh, pristine condition, you could use those on your RX-5. There's nothing a Halfords rattle um, can couldn't sort you can, out. You could sort them out. They are a, a rather nice addition to the vehicle. Um, sporting a set of mud flaps as well, which are good. Yep. They would take a good trade. It's um, dent free. I mean, it comes with a dent, free of charge. It's amazing. But also, it's this, what a great car. We know it drives great. We know it's got the six-speed gearbox. We know it's got all the nice interior bits and nothing wrong with that wing mirror at all. So hook us up if you want a great donor car to build an RX-5. <laughs> <laughs> if you like what you see and you're into your kit cars, guys, then um, why not subscribe to our channel? Press subscribe. Click on the bell icon. Press all. And it'll send you notifications each week. Right guys, back in the workshop now. It's Honda S20 C S2000 time. Well, we've been on with Joseph's car here. A um, few changes throughout the week as always. Um, so what we've got on here is the carbon. Uh, very nice. CSR front arches. These are prepeg ones. So we've, we have the uh, billet front uprights on these with our well, basically wing stay. Designed for the 18560 13 tyre on this particular one. And also IVA trim has gone on on these. Remember the sharp edges, 2.5 mil radius. And the side indicators, we flush mount them in now. Um, rather than the rubber seal, it's flush mounted in. And that's for your five degree angle test on your IVA. You need a side reflector in there. Um, what else have we been on with? Um, well, big changes. This, the nice roll cage, 50 mil roll cage with side impact bars. This is the bolt in roll cage that we've got in. Interior seats are going in, we've got some seat belts test fit in and that, but the seats are going in as well. And the boot cover, boot cover's gone. So obviously you know we do these in black vinyl or we do the carbon, uh, well it's carbon effect guys, isn't it, that, that we do. And fuel caps in, rear lights, we've got the LED light pack on here for fog and reverse. These side lights with indicators and all that on, these are with the built-in reflectors, again for IVA compatible with a built-in reflector and they're all dimensionally for that. I mean, just the last job to do is then the number plate light that'll be going on as well. Wings have all gone on, and we've got all the P-trim in place, rubber mounted, finishing off the rubber bits in. And this will be down on the ground pretty soon, actually. We're just waiting for a few other bits to button up, loom, ECU, but all the wheels, we'll get them bolted on. We're having nice CXRs, pucker, going on to this with the uh, Toyo r rubber. So, great boots, and uh, yeah, looking, looking strong in the orange. As soon as the cage goes on, change the car, completely looking killer okay so we're on with the rx5 build here guys back in the workshop as you can see it's lost its panels well main reason is they're all trial fitted as you know the other week we had the rear tub side panels but we've taken them off to start to fit the k20a2 engine in so this is all been mounted up with the adapter plate the flywheel it has a mx5 clutch and a mx5 six-speed gearbox mounted to it our new engine mounts and the chaps right now their next job for the next Ooh, I reckon five minutes, maybe 10 at the tops. This bad boy is going in that hole. So do you know what? Let's cut away and watch it roll in there.
Right, well, there they go, guys. As long as it took me to make a cup of tea for myself to watch these experts, my little minions working away here, they've rattled in the K20A2 engine in with the six-speed gearbox in there. And we just finish off now. We can't start bolting that up and mount it in. Of course, the rocker cover's got to be refurbished, but that's the last bit we'll do at the end. All the rest of it's done, and we'll start looking at the oil cooler kits and all the other bits that go into it now. So it's plumbing and all the intricate stuff of the engine now that we can start doing, putting in that manifold on, it's all system and everything else. So that's the next uh, stages. So stay tuned. It does fit. It does clear. We've got plenty of room under the sump here. In fact, that hardly sticks under there. There's not... Height-wise, we're pretty good on that, so super happy with that. Right, another chassis here. Um, what we're on with, again, another one, having the brake lines, fuel lines, and everything fitted. Billet pedal box has just gone in. Um, and we've got the guys going through with that, start fitting all the brake lines in. It's the first installation of them all. So RX5, uh, um, sorry, Ford Bay chassis, this one. Begging your pardon, sending so many Mazda ones, you forget. Obviously, we still do the Ford ones. Ford one is going to have a Honda engine in there as well. So they're sending extremely well. Super happy with it. So if you want in that process, floor pan, brake lines, fuel lines all fitted, obviously, we can do that. And based on chassis, guys, don't forget, up here, not sure where I'm going to put it this week. One of these times, we'll do the Okie Koki. It'll be up there with the chassis register, where that's going and how that's looking for you. That's the next 10 cars. Right, another week flying by. Don't forget about the cars for sale if you want to know any more information about them, they're on the website on the cars for sale section anyway, but if you want to discuss that with myself or Neil about the two strikers we had, the Supercharged, the ZTEC, or the Mazda car, which is the left-hand drive at the moment, which we can convert to right-hand drive, as we said, or at the later date, or now, look to put turbo kits on them, etc. as well, and make them into a, an awesome weapon. So don't forget those. If you want to know more about the range, whether it be the K20, the F20C, or any of the other four base chassis, obviously hook us up on a phone call and email as well, or come and visit us here. Love to see you, love to see you. That's it for this week, guys. Like, share, catch you next week.